keep it real, real, real. And your boy keep it one thousand. Hey, yeah, Reba, we all about doing them good things, bringing good messages to the birds in the hood, man. And everywhere else in between, y'all so keep game. Reba gonna call you on your messiness with no shame. So listen while your boy discuss these trending topics from the cold climates all the way down to the tropics. Don't knock it, just get your popcorn, ready, set, go. Sit back and chillax while you're checking out the Reba show. So here's what's up. like you to subscribe to the Reaper because I'm doing good things here at Reaper. Coach Prime, Prime Time, Deion Sanders, stereotypes the black athlete. What I tell you about Deion, when somebody asked me, do I like Deion Sanders, you know, I said, I liked him on the football field, but off the football field, Dion has been a deceiver of late. The Reaper keep it 1,000 because nobody would give Dion a head coaching job in college, and Jackson State did that, and Dion said that he was bringing the black athlete back to the HBCU, and he was there to establish a pipeline for the black athlete to come back to the HBCU. And he went into some of these, you know, kids' homes with their parents and everything. 
And Dion did nothing but con them, you know, the Reaper keep it 1000, you know, he was Coach Prime, you know, he was known as Coach Prime. And soon as somebody offered Dion a bag, he ran, the Reaper keep it 1000, to Colorado of all places, you know, that didn't seem like a good fit for Dion, you know, because Dion is from the South and he went to school, you know, at Florida State. And, you know, he has established everything in the South. He coached football in Texas or whatever. You know, uh, he went to uh, Jackson State to be a head coach. And everybody thought Dion was going to be the next Eddie Robinson. But the Reaper done told you about uh, Dion or whatever. You know, that Dion is out for Dion. The Reaper keep it 1,000. He never was out for those kids or whatever. He was just waiting on a an opportunity to go to a D1 school where they offered Dion a bag because all Dion talk about is money, money, money or whatever, you know. And if you like Dion Sanders of late, you must like coonery and buffoonery. The Reaper keep it 1000 because Dion's latest episode uh, that he had on the Rich Eisen show on ESPN Dion stereotyped the black athlete. He said he didn't want a quarterback unless they had a two-parent household and a 3.5 GPA. Now, Dion, you going to tell me that Ben Roslisberger or Brett Favre had a 3.5 GPA? You know, this is what I'm saying. And they Hall of Fame quarterbacks. Let's go back to, uh, you know, even Warren Moon, you know, that went to Canada and got discriminated against with all kind of racism or whatever. He comes from a one-parent household with his mama, you know. Uh, and he was a smart man, and he's a Hall of Fame quarterback, then we never would have saw the dynamics of Michael Vick or whatever. You know, we never would have saw the uh, Lamar Jacksons of the world, Dion. you know, if you thought like this, you know. And then he said he wanted linemen because, I mean, offensive linemen because they have two-parent households or whatever, you know, uh, and they're more structured or whatever. And he made the thing that he wanted defensive lineman whose mama is on free lunch and welfare she can ne she can barely afford to catch the plane and basically he wanted him like a mad dog you know and hungry the reaper keep it 1000 you know this is what Dion was saying you know stereotyping the football player or whatever Dion you done took black people back a hundred years with those comments man the reaper keep it 1000 because you stereotype dog the black athlete or whatever and they've been stereotyping us for years and what about the James Harris's what about the uh Doug Williams or whatever Dion the Reaper keep it 1000 I mean these men were stereotyped or whatever you know and didn't get you know the opportunities that they should have got because James Harris was better than Terry Bradshaw and Doug Williams got his opportunities you know uh at the end you know the Reaper keep it 1,000. But these men had to face racism, you know, being the black quarterback or whatever, you know, um, uh, in, you know, college and in the NFL or whatever, you know. So you say you want a defensive lineman that's a mad dog or whatever, you know, that's hungry or whatever, that you can come in here and say, hey, boy, you better go make them plays or whatever, you know, because you know your mama needs you. Your mama needs you to get out of the ghetto. You know, you was on free lunch, and he'd be just like a, a mad raving dog on the field. But what Dion did is he stereotyped their intelligence or whatever, the reaper keep it 1,000. If this was the case, Dion, you're not in your kid's life. You know, I mean, you're in their life, Dion. I'm not saying you're not in their life, but you're not in the household with them. You know, I mean, you got two, three wives, man. You know, people could call that situation unstable, man. The Reaper keep it 1,000. You know, you got a string of wives and a string of kids that's left out there that you left when they was minors. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. So, because you Dion Sanders, you above that because you got money and you coach prime, huh? 
you above that. No, you know, you're not above that because they're not, they didn't, I mean, they grew up with two parents, Dion, with you, and this, that, and the other, and they mama, and I'm not saying you don't take care of your responsibilities, but all your kids ain't in the same household, which could be considered an unstable environment. The Reaper keep it 1,000, you know, uh, for children, you know, because children should have two parent households and be structured. That's what you said, you know, but it's the rules is different, you know, for you and yours, but, you know, they ain't different. Dion just want to use these black athletes, man. You know, he's stereotyping you like Jimmy the Greek would say, oh, the reason they can run fast is because of slavery, because of the thighs. He's stereotyping you that if you come from, you know, a single parent household, right, you're not a leader of men. You know, the real <laughs> 1,000. This is what Dion is saying, you know. I mean, Dion is saying that, if, he, if, if hey, you could play on my defense, you know, because you hungry and you had hard times or whatever, and you like a mad raving dog, and you got to get your mama out of the ghetto because you know you her man, you know. So I could use you, you know, in a position where, you know, you got to be hungry in. You know, this is stereotyping the black athlete just like uh, uh, some white people would back in the day. The Reaper keep it 1,000. This is this is what it is. It's disgusting, you know, that a man that's black would say this, you know, on a platform, you know, and stereotype his own people into that way, you know, over a football game. And that's what I'm saying. Dion, you know, is out for Dion, you know, because he's stereotyping his own people, you know, to be a certain way because they come from certain st circumstances. Uh, hey, Dion, did you know that uh, black people invented mostly everything? You know, the Reaper Keep It 1000, some of your single parent, you know, uh, black people or whatever is the most dynamic people, you know, in the world. You should just look at yourself. You know, the Reaper Keep It 1000. I mean, hey, there's some of your engineers, Dion, you know, there's some of, uh, you know, the people that invented, you know, the internet and all of this, the car and everything, Dion, if you just look in history, man, you know, so you can't judge it like that. And this is why you're judging it like a racist white dude or somebody and you stereotyping your own people is because you're judging somebody not off of who they are, but off their circumstances. Reaper, we keep it rough. We keep it raw. We keep it real. Make sure you subscribe to the Reaper because I'm doing real things, Dion, here at Reaper. Reaper out. Peace.